best practice to use OS login inside of Google Cloud instead of individual SSH keys. SSH keys are easier to compromise because they can be lost or just files. Also, a person can leave the team, but they still would have possession of their SSH key. In fact, they can leave the entire organization and still have the file on their computer. OS login enforces the authentication using Google's Identity and Access Manager. So it obeys all the permissions and rules that are associated with IAM. It's a much more secure process and allows you to onboard and offboard individuals more easily. You can set OS login on any instance by setting the metadata on that instance. So for example, we'll take this computer here, the Bastion host. And if we go down to the metadata, we can add a key to enable OS login. We set the value to true, save it, and now OS login is enabled for this machine. But this is not a good practice because it's easy to forget to put enable OS login on every compute instance, especially if you're not just using virtual machines, but you might also be new using other types of compute like Kubernetes nodes. So we're gonna remove the feature from this individual compute instance, and we're gonna set it on the entire project. And then every machine will inherit the setting top down. So let's go over to use gcloud for this. We're gonna gcloud compute project info, add metadata, and the metadata we wanna add is just that key. So the metadata is gonna be enable OS login. We're going to set the value equal to true. Case doesn't matter. So we go ahead and set the value to true. And now that metadata sitting at the project level will be inherited by every instance on this project. In fact, you don't want to set at the instance level even with the value set at the project level because instance level settings override project level settings and you might accidentally have the settings set incorrectly on one of your compute instances. When we log in from this point forward, we're gonna be using OS login, which means Google's gonna to try to use the SSH key that's in our OS login profile. So we wanna make sure that we have our key in our profile. I've created a key with SSH key gen. This key is called the GCP Ventility App Server 1 for demo purposes, and it also has an equivalent public key file. We're gonna put the public key file inside of our OS login profile. Google will distribute this and use this in the compute instance machines. It keeps a copy of it on the metadata server inside of the Google network. To set this in our profile, we're gonna use gcloud compute. And now we're gonna go into OS login SSH keys, add, and then we need to give it the key file using the key file parameter. We're gonna make sure to use our public key and we're gonna give it the full path instead of the short path. So with the full path to the public key specified, we go ahead and upload this into OS login. And we can see that our profile is displayed afterwards with the key uploaded. Again, this is the public key, not the private key. So now we'll go ahead and log in to the machine using OS login. So we're gonna do gcloud compute, SSH. We want to tunnel through identityware proxy. And we want to use the key file. Now you may get an error at this point if you haven't set up a firewall rule to allow a connection through identityware proxy. This is a key part. And let's take a look at what this looks like. So we'll put the full path here again. And when we log in, we're logging in with the private key, our equivalent to the public key. And which I log in with Bastion host. 
So I haven't set up the firewall rule yet. We're going to take a look at what that error looks like. This is a very common mistake that folks make when they're trying to use OS login through identity or proxy is they forget to allow the firewall rule for identity or proxy. So if we wait 30 seconds, this will eventually time out and we'll get an error saying that we couldn't make the connection. And it's because the firewall rule blocks by default. Again, very common issue. So let's set up the firewall rule for identity where proxy. If you just search for the TCP IAP firewall, you'll get the address almost right away. It's this 35.235.240 address. And in fact, in this article, they actually give you the, the firewall rule, or at least a good start of it, if you click on this gcloud tab here. So the first one's for RDP, the second one's for SSH. We're using Linux servers, so we'll be doing SSH. And this allows connections coming inbound from the internet through the identity where proxy servers, which is at this range here, to the computed instances on your network. And of course, it's best practice to specify a target. I already have the Bastion host with a target tag of Bastion host, so I'm gonna use that target tag. So this will create the firewall rule. If you get an error that's saying that you can't find the default network, that's because you're not using the default network, which is actually a good practice. So you just need to specify the network, it's no big deal. So this is where you would specify your network. And try again, and the firewall will work create. Now, let's just say that you didn't know what the name of your network was, but you are following best practices and not using the default network. So just do gcloud networks. Actually, gcloud compute networks, and then list. And this will give you the name of the network that you're using. And you can just plug that into the dash dash network setting up here. So now we've worked through all the common issues and errors that folks have all the time. And we'll go back and try to do that SSH command that we were trying to do earlier. And this time you can see that we log in almost immediately using OS login. 